Like, like that was the thing with Penix back in India. He had never been able to really follow, get, stay healthy for an entire yeah. season. That was always holding him back. And last year he finally did. But, but you're right. It does. It does look like he's taken a, a few too many hits this year. And um, hopefully for for Sammy's sake, it, it does get there. But uh, hopefully for my sake, Jaden Daniels beats Alabama this week <laughs> and they go to the SEC championship game and he wins the Heisman Trophy. But, but I thought Sammy, you're covering on Jaden Daniels too, though, aren't you? I'm not on Jaden. I have McCarthy and Penix. That's it. Oh. This could be this could be problematic. <laughs> I heard that sigh from New York there. I heard that like internal sigh there. Well, I I, I have McCarthy too. So yeah, how about that? How about we how about we split the difference and we just give it McCarthy, to JJ? Like, I, I Michigan fans are going to quarterback of the number one ranked team. Like, in the country. That, really, that's what it really, is. Really, really like. Is it, look, come on. McCarthy is not the Heisman winner this season. I mean, he might win the Heisman because Michigan wins all their games, sure. But no one's watched him play one time this year and been like, that's the Heisman winner. Caleb Williams, I mean, has those plays. Michael Penix has those plays. Jane Daniels has those plays. Like, not one time. If you watch one play this year and thought to yourself, oh, that, that's that's him right there, the Heisman winner. I know people out there that talk about him being a, being a top 6, 10 well, draft. The, the draft is different, in my opinion, because the draft looks at different things than the Heisman voters look at. But, like... I mean, the, the draft guys shoot up or go down all the time. It doesn't. That's a different story. But I mean, like Bo Nix, I saw in the fifth round, a fifth pick overall. That's a little high for me. Morgan, it's, I mean, that's, it's a lot like, high for me. I'm too. like, that's a little much. But I could see Bo winning the Heisman. He's made plays this year. That, like, and that th th there's a Heisman play. That's the one guy I don't have that, that I am not covered on is Bo Nix because there, there is a if he if they go twelve and one, uh, maybe Michigan loses a game, Ohio State loses a game. Uh, LSU doesn't win this week. Like there, there is a path for Bo Nix, I think, to win the Heisman Trophy. And he, he's the one guy that I don't have right now that does that does concern me. I mean, he'll he'll have like sixty seven starts before before he wins the Heisman. That's an, that's crazy. I I never thought Bo would be even in this conversation. It's crazy. But by the way, this you talk, we talked on Michigan and McCarthy, and we talked about it how you don't think there's going to be a backlash by, by any vote, voters or uh, the committee. I mean, even uh, Boo Corrigan came out. Oh, it's an NCAA deal. Uh, Bruce Feldman and, and Max Olson had a great oh, story on really the good, athletic yeah. the, this week that I suggest you read. And then just sitting in the room before with Jeff, before we got going here, uh, Pete Thamel from ESPN had a, uh, a story and he spoke to some people, I guess that were on a call uh, with, with the big 10 yesterday. And these coaches are pissed. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.